Hi guys, in this video we are going to be talking about pointers. So a pointer is just a variable which stores the address of another variable. So let's see that in action. So let's say m1 is equal to 2. Now my pointer is going to be the address of m1. And we are simply going to print out the pointer. So let's see what happens. We printed out the memory address. So what happened was that we initialized this variable to 2. We stored the address of m1 in our variable pointer and we printed out the pointer. This is a hexadecimal representation of the address of where m1 is actually stored. Now the AND symbol is called the referencing symbol. It's also called the reference operator, which is used to get the address of a variable. To get the value, the data which is stored inside an address, you dereference that pointer. So by dereference we mean star. So if you print star ptr, it's going to print a 2. So let's see how in action we can actually leverage this functionality. So I'm going to sh be showing you an example of pass by value and pass by reference. So we do a function swap. Function swap takes two variable variables m1, m2, both of type int. So we can do an m1, comma m2, star int because both of these are of the type star int only. And then we declare a temporary variable to hold the values temporarily of type int. So we can do a temp is equal to star of m1, m2, m2, star of m2 is going to be equal to star of m1 and then star of m1 is going to be equal to 10. Now what we can do is we can declare two variables m1 and m2 m1 and m2 which are equal to 2 and 3 respectively. So I'm going to be printing m1 comma m2 and let's swap both of these variables. So by if you want to pass a pointer to a function you can simply reference it using add so add m1 uh, sorry and m1 and and m2 and then you simply do a fmt dot print line m1 comma m2 so let's see what happens earlier we had 2 and 3 and later we had 3 and 2 so we actually went to the address of where m1 and m2 were stored and we st swapped all both of these variables so you might not see pointers in languages like python in python they only have one this pointer but in this case uh, pointers are widely used in go thank you